MMA Boxing Talk here, coming at you with another video. Just want to put out a quick video. I, um, I just seen on UFC on Fox, um, just an article. I didn't even read the article, but, um, it's pretty, uh, you know, self-explanatory just by reading the, uh, the headlines. Carlos Condit still has a hell of a lot of fight left in him, and a showdown with Robbie Lawler at UFC 200 would definitely lure him back. So, you know, I, I read this and I get I start thinking, you know, that was a very close fight. Um, I had Carlos Condit winning that fight, believe it or not, their first fight. Um, you know, it was a very close fight, like I said. But personally, honestly, um, Carlos Condit won three of the rounds and landed more, um, you know, you definitely can make a case for Robbie Lawler, but um, for the most part, the case that I heard was that, you know, it was the old, well, the champion, you know, the challenger has to beat the champion decisively, and he has to basically finish him or, you know, get a unanimous decision win. Um, but in UFC, we have seen, um, you know, just look at the way Robbie Lawler won his title over Johnny Hendricks. That wasn't a, a, th a five-round unanimous decision win. Not even close. I, well, I know it was split, but it was a very close fight. Uh, a lot of people say that he won it in that fifth round. Um, and, you know, even even the first fight with uh, Hendricks and Lawler, when Hendricks won, um, that was a close fight as well. So, and that was a vacant title, mind you. But uh, Carlos Condit, you know, he definitely did enough to win the belt. Um, I'm not pissed about it. I mean, I love Robbie Lawler. Don't get me wrong. I mean, you get your money's worth in a Robbie Lawler fight. So how can I, how can I talk down on him? But my, my personal opinion is Carlos Condit won that fight. And this would be very interesting to see Carlos Condit, Robbie Lawler rematch at UFC 200. Now, you know, there's so many rumors, uh, with UFC 200. It's, it's, it's insane because, um, from now till up until UFC 200, the schedule is pretty well out for the main events, um, and you know, so the only thing that fans can um, you know try to predict or, or foresee um, when you're talking about the scheduling is UFC 200, and it's a big deal, right? It's uh, it's a really big deal. UFC 100 was a big thing. That was the biggest pay per view up until um, UFC 196 uh, that just passed, that just happened there. Um, now that's the biggest pay-per-view, um, most pay-per-view buys in UFC history, I should say. Um, so, UFC 200 is going to look to even to get more, more pay-per-views than that. They're going to have a stacked card. It's going to be insane. But here's where it gets interesting, because there's obviously that rumor of GSP, which might just be a rumor, but it might not. Um, and I, could, I would see if GSP would come back. He'd want to fight on UFC 200, or the UFC would want him to fight on, at 200. I don't know. But, um, so you got him, GSP could possibly fight Robbie Lawler, GSP could possibly fight Nate Diaz, because his coach, Faraz Zahabi, has, you know, stated that he'd love a Nate Diaz fight with GSP, uh, personally, I don't want to see that fight, but, uh, I mean, I'd watch it, no doubt, but, um, and then you got, um, you know, GSP, I mean, I guess he could fight a, another contender, but I think he'll, he'll fight for the belt if he comes back. Um, so Robbie Lawler, you know, um, he could fight, like I said, the rematch with Carlos Condit, that would be, I would love to see the rematch, because personally, like I said, uh, I felt Condit did enough to win that fight in their first one, um, if they don't go that route, Robbie Lawler could fight, you know, Nate Diaz, that'd be a fight I'd want to see, um, but, anyway, let me know what you think, and, uh, I want to know if you guys like the Condit Lawler rematch, and I want to know if you guys, you know, saw it the same way. Did you see Condit winning, did doing enough to, to beat Lawler in their first fight, or did you have Lawler winning? Let me know. Let me know what you think, and um, and let me know what you guys think about UFC 200. Um, I just put out a video about an hour or two ago um, on UFC 200. It was my wish list, the fights that I wanted to see. So go check that out. And uh, let me know what you guys want for that. But uh, if you like the video, subscribe. That's it for this one. MMA Boxing Talk. Peace.